Just got a box here with some other bits and pieces in I thought I'd show you. Um, these are basically in here, everything in here is basically homemade. Um, little seals with people's, with, with people's names carved on them, but in reverse, of course, so that you can impress into the clay. Just use ordinary, your regular clay. Don't have a clay, a clay body that's got too much grog in it. So it's a fairly fine clay body. You can use porcelain, but nothing that's like a raku clay, okay? And you can carve different names. All right, I've got those there. Um, what else? Um, yeah, these are little wheels I've got here. These are these are these are easy to make. I think you've seen me using these in certain video clips. You can see, you see there, it, it spins in my hand like that. That's simply thrown on the wheel as a solid lump, then cut through with a needle, yeah, and and then the disc. Effectively, then have a disc, don't you? You then can put any pattern on the disc you like. Put a couple of little pointy bits like that, okay. And generally, what I do is just wet my fingers like that, hold it, and then I can put that over the outside of a pot on the softness of a the soft clay of a pot, okay. Again, another one there. Um, you can do any pattern you like. Another one here with a different different pattern on it. So that's those. Now, what else? Oh yeah, some of these. Yeah, you saw me on the um, when we were doing the clip on the beer tankers. These are some some seals that that my friend Seth made for, for me. I didn't make those. But he did them for me, and he did them in reverse relief. And um, so, but he was he was trained in, and used to work in the theatre, so he knew about having to how to do that kind of thing, and he did it kind of for me. So that's that. Um, what else? Oh, you can use sort of little things like bottle tops and all sorts of things. Don't limit yourself. Be unlimited. There's so much out there that you can use to impress into soft clay, whether it be a, sh a champagne stopper like this one or what have you, you know. So, I've even made some here out of, uh, I needed to make some one day. I don't know why I use these actually, but these are not made of clay. These are made, of, made out of some resinous stuff, like a star here, that we were impressing. I think I needed them in a hurry or something. I couldn't wait for the clay to dry and I had that, so I used that. So there you go, I get, uh, there again, improvise. If there isn't a way, we'll make a way. So some seal here I made. Remember, if you're using things like this, which are solid lumps of clay, make sure they're well dried before they, they're fired. Usually the cause of, of things blowing up in a kiln is it's usually pieces of clay that are too thick and you think they're dry. They lead you to believe that they are dry because they look dry on the outside but in the middle there's trapped moisture. That's what causes things to blow up. It's not so much air bubbles as people think because air actually leaches out through the gets out through the wall of a pot. If there's an air bubble trap that can get out, unless it's trapped deep down in the middle somewhere. Okay, folks, well, there's just a few things on tools. We could go on and on and on, couldn't we, talking about tools, but that'll do just for the moment. And if anybody's got any, um, any ideas about tools, come on. Let's have them. Don't keep them to yourself. <laughs> See you around. Bye now.